Welcome to the TCP connection between the server and client. This is the basic architecture of the TCP program in which the server and client communicates. Initially, in both server and client, the socket is being created. And then in the server side, the socket address will be binded with the socket address. And then the socket will be listening to the connections uh, connections from the clients and then whenever the a client tries to connect with the server it sends a connect request and the server accepts the request and then this uh, the client sends the information or the message to the server using send function and then server receives the rec uh, receive uh, receives the message which is sent from the client using the receive function and then the server sends the reply to the message using the send function to the client. In this way, the communication between the server and the client happens. And whenever the connection is, uh, whenever the communication is finished, both the connections are closed in both server and as well as client. That's the reason TCP is called as connection oriented service and now let's go to the execution of code of UD, uh, of TCP server and client. This is the C program of server and client. In server, first initially we shall create a socket using the socket function. And in, uh, in client also, we shall create a socket using socket function. And the return value using the socket function, if it is minus one, it indicates that socket creation has been failed. If it is not minus one, then it prints socket has been created successfully. And then the socket is being binded with the socket address using this code. And if it is not equal to zero, then its socket byte has been failed and if it is equal to zero the socket has been successfully created socket creation will not be there in client and then in server the server listens to the different clients connections so using this function listen it will be listening to the connections and the limit of q limit that is number of clients it can connect is 5 in this particular code you can change it to number of clients whatever you would like to and then the client sends the connect request to the server and the server accepts the request using the accept function in this way the connection has been created and then the function kind of function has been called in both client as well as server now let's go to the function now in the function whatever they, they this function is used for communication for chatting purpose like sending the information from client to server and server to client in a loop fashion using the while loop because that communication will happen until and unless the server sends an and exist uh, exit uh, exit exit to the client whenever the exit message is pen, uh, is being sent from server to the client the communication between both server and client stops that means the connection uh, ends there itself so for that using the using the while loop the information is being constantly shared between the client and server using the write using the write and read function using the write and read functions <coughs> so this is the basic code for communication between the server and the client in using tcp now let's execute this program First, we shall, execute, uh, we shall compile the server-side program gcc-o 
server tcp server dot c uh, ignore the warnings because these warnings are generated because of the read and uh, read and write functions which are implicitly declared and these are just warnings you can just ignore them and similarly in the client side gcc minus o client tcp client dot c and in the same way here also you can ignore the one yeah ignore these warnings and now first we shall execute the server code and you can see that socket has been successfully created socket has been successfully binded and the server is listening now now the client starts connecting let's say this is one of the client now the socket has been created first initially in the client and the connected it, it is connected to the server and whenever the connect uh, whenever the connect uh, service uh, it is whenever the client connects to the server server accepts the client and now we can send the message now the client sends message hi uh, hi server so you can see the hi server has been printed from the client now to the client the server sends hello <coughs> hello has been sent from the server to the client how are you you can see here client so in this way the communication between the client and server happens client says bye this also says bye now to exit the server sends exit the server sends exit as a thing and the server exits as well as the client exits this is the execution of clients and server program using tcp